Welcome, I'm Rachel Vallegarito. I'm studying to be a librarian and I work as a student assistant in Abbott Library on South Campus. The assistants wear the blue shirts and can help you at any time with any questions you have. Also, Rose Orcutt is the architecture and planning librarian in Abbott Library. If you need further help with this assignment or other research assignments, please contact her. There is also the instant librarian chat service and text in case you are working during off hours. So first, let's review what you need. You will need to have a journal article focused on an architect's work that includes a floor plan and elevation in order to write your essay. Now, we often see students in the library the same night the assignment is due. Of course, we're only human and sometimes get down to the last minute. I think both approaches that I'm going to show you can work for you, but the second is more efficient if you are in a time crunch. Both approaches involve going to Abbott Library, and I think your instructors really want you to be familiar with the library on this early assignment to make future work easier. In this lesson, we will review what a journal and journal article is and how to use a database to find one. We'll look at two quick approaches to get you an article. Remember that you can pause and review any part of the lesson when you need to. For this lesson, we will brainstorm ideas to find the terms, discuss two ways to find a journal article, and then you will find your journal article and know where to ask for help if needed. So you can set up a document or use a notebook, whichever you prefer, and start a couple of columns for jotting down some ideas. Now, you know you're going to have to focus this essay on an architect, so maybe think back to some of the designs from your travels that have stood out to you. Uh, for me, I remember being in New York City and walking on the High Line and noticing the condos by Zaha Hadid, and then I became very interested in her designs. The Fish in Barcelona is another one by Frank Gehry, and his work is very unique. It stands out to me wherever I go, even in Toronto, noticing the facade of the new art gallery there. Locally, um, Abbott Library is designed by E.B. Green, and the Hotel Lafayette is another favorite building of mine. So take a little time and make a list in your notebook of some of the designs that maybe have drawn you to this course of study, or just that you've noticed as you've been experiencing the world. And if you'd like, you can share some of your favorites too. If you go to www.menti.com with the code after the backslash, or you can scan the QR code right now with your phone and add some of your ideas. Maybe we'll see um, a big list from all of our participants. And then let's get to the basics. Uh, journal articles are scholarly papers, shorter than books, and they're written about specific topics by experts. They're usually reviewed by other experts in the field. We know that they can be published online and in print and then collected and bound in journals. Sometimes they're called periodicals because they're published periodically. A library research database is an organized collection of searchable journals. The Avery Index to Architectural Periodicals is a database that you can use to find these journal articles in the field of architecture. And the top photo shows the cover of a journal that has been bound in our collection at UB. So you can see the journal title, La Arquitectura, and on the binding of the bound journal, you can see the volume number, issue number, dates, and that is the way that they are organized and how you can find them. Now keep in mind, these are located on the third floor of Abbott Library and they're the first shelves to the right of the elevators. Now, there are two approaches to finding a journal article that I've seen students be successful with. So first, the approach would be browsing the shelves. 
And the second approach will be using the Avery index, the database that I mentioned earlier. So we'll take some time to talk about both of those approaches. So now that you know what a journal article is, we'll talk about two approaches to finding them. So the first approach is something I've seen students have success with. It's browsing. They go to Abbott Library, they go to the third floor and turn right off the elevator and the journals are all in the first few rows. The brand new periodicals are in the first row and alphabetized by title. And after they've sat for a while, they're sent to be bound into books that make their way into the next shelves by call number. Students have often found um, eye-catching covers and have, have kind of flipped through and looked for things that catch their interest and have been able to find articles that way with floor plans and elevations for their assignment. But another way to do this is I think a little bit more efficient, especially if you're running out of time. Um, there are computers on the third floor of the library, but you can also use your phone and go to the university library website library.buffalo.edu. Here, instead of going to the everything search, we are going to click on databases and enter the title, partial title, Avery. And that brings us to the Avery Index to Architectural Periodicals, which will be very useful to you in your time at UB. The advanced search fields come up and I'll show you how to use that. Don't get deterred by the word advanced. It's actually pretty simple to use. So you can enter your, the name of the architect that you'd like to search in the field. If you have a building name or a location, you can enter that as well. But I'm gonna start with Zaha Adid and go back to my name that I realized when I was brainstorming. Now you'll want to scroll down because we have a couple of other things to do here. We know that we need a, an article with a, an elevation and floor plan. So if you scroll down to document feature, you can check the box for elevation and also for plan. And over here, make sure your document type is journal article. Now there are a couple of other filters that might be of interest to you. You can search for all dates or make that a little bit more specific. And you can also click on a language that you prefer. So I think I'm all set with my search. So I'm going to click search and see which results come up. And it's a good idea just to skim by title you can click on each entry and get a little bit more information. But I am going to click on this result about the Contemporary Art Center in Cincinnati. And it looks like you get all the information about which volume it was published in, which issue, what pages, so you can keep track of that information if you plan to use this and find it in the libraries. So for that step, you would check UB libraries for availability. And this is how the result looks in the catalog. You can click here to check holdings and find out the details of which of the journals we have at Abbott. And we are looking for 2002, volume 48, number 563.
and it looks like it's right here. And we should be able to find that in the library. And that is actually how I found the journal I used as a sample earlier. So I went to the ends of the rows, looked at the signs for where the call number would be and found the journal right there. Now keep in mind, you can also scan using the scanners in the library and make a PDF version of the article for use later. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Um, Please find someone at the service desk if you come in across any problems and look for the student assistants in the blue shirts. So thank you for joining me in this lesson today. I hope it was helpful for you. If you do have questions, you can email me. My name is Rachel Vela Garrido and my email address is rmvela at buffalo.edu. Keep in mind, Rose Orcutt is stationed in Abbott Library for any help that you might need. And we have an instant librarian chat service that is open on the library website as well. So um, good luck with your assignment and keep in touch.